Most people in America are familiar with the simple aspects of common sense. Other people may not have them, and that can often be foreseen by the way that they behave and interact with the people that live as near as to them, such as neighbors. Neighbors of a person are often good to them, and at the same time they can abuse them by abusing that neighborly right to have a key to their space. A person who is a liar in a family might start to think about a plot in which to get herself more inheritance or gain more for her family and children. A father who earned that income is going to say no. The children will receive their portions equally. What I choose to do for them before my demise is my right to decide based on circumstances and life partnerships and how much earnings they generally make on their own. A father has the right to decide whether he is being fair in his mind or whether he is not. What we know is that over the course of a lifetime, a father who is fair and loving may give the exact same equal amounts to siblings, but he does it by adjusting it towards the fact that each sibling has a different number of children. The finance or management of person of a manager's estate is not the person to be interacting with is true. But when that financial management person needs to be facing an ombudsman, that is when things get ugly to you. In life, we have to talk about our rights to interact with someone's life. And if you have a 50-year-old man who had a wife that was just demised or taken away from his life, it is not the right of a sister to step into any position in his life by stealing a telephone number of someone he's visiting for that therapy session or that loss and start interacting on behalf of herself and her illegal and immoral nursing friends to create ugly records that go on his life. You see, anyone in a family outside of the situation can obviously see what is going on. That sisters are more than jealous when they try to add up a father's investments based on an old paper that he may, be, may have never completed. Because as a man ages and as his mind continues to age, he does have the right to decide what is and isn't moral ground. But when a sibling says, oh, your father gave you this much money and I didn't earn this much money, you have to stop and think about how much you did for that man or whether or not he has the right to decide how he's going to dispense his earnings. You see, the illness in someone is when a man who spends most of his community time providing $400 here, $600 there to both children in poverty as well as noble politicians of a community. But does a child who is trying to pit herself against a youngest sibling, thinking about how much she's earned from the father's abilities versus what someone else might appear to earn is foolishness. Because checks might have been received in repayment of family loans as opposed to being provided to total strangers in banks where they lie, steal, and cheat a man out of his rights by illegally and immorally talking to siblings or taking in deposits from siblings that had no right to be anywhere near that man's bank account numbers. So if we go through thorough investigations of situations, we have to understand that when a man says humbly to a total stranger, practically a business associate who is trusted in his business for him, please take this check to the bank for me. I am not feeling well and I have to cover this problem before it becomes a problem. And she agrees to do this, then that should be enough trust for someone like Polly to get her shit together and recognize she just got entrusted with something huge. And openly that means she earned that trust over the course of a long time relationship. As opposed to a man choosing to trust a sibling to make a deposit. Because that sibling lied and stole the idea from an agreement between the youngest child and a mom who is supposed to pay a bill. And as a result of her denying that mom the right to choose to pay that bill. And as opposed to him being allowed to pay it himself his entire bank account got shut down, basically moving itself into overdrafts because the denial was to a $100 only bill.